What is up guys, welcome back to another live in the OU tier. Today we're using a team that my friend Eric from the NBA passed me. It's a Mega Latios team, Reflect type Mega Latios, which is actually really cool. Uh, I'm enjoying using it. I used it a couple of times on the ladder now. This team's biggest weakness is uh, offensive dark types such as Bisharp and Weavile. So if we run into a lot of those, we may lose a couple of games. Luckily we do have, um, do have Reflect type on Latias, so that can come in handy. Problem with that is that Weavile gets low kick, so could make it a little bit difficult. Weavile is pretty much the biggest problem to this team. Hopefully Celebi might be able to soak up a hit and hit it back, but that's about it. Also Vaporeon doesn't appreciate getting its leftovers knocked off either. So we'll see how it goes though. Jump into a uh, into a battle right off the bat here, as we do see a Weavile and a Bisharp game one. So this is going to be extremely difficult. We are Choice Scarf Lantern. No, we're not. Okay, we're Rocky Helmet. Well. This is gonna be extremely hard uh, to deal with, but should be able to pull through here. Uh, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to more than likely lead with, Celebi's not bad, doesn't have taunt or anything like that, so I can't prevent the rocks. I don't think he would lead Skarmory seeing the Magnazone. If anything is more than likely lead is going to be the Gengar or the Weavile. It does pretty mean things to me, but uh, I'm actually liking Vaporeon as the lead. Alternatively, he could lead with the Manectric as well. So that's kind of bad. Uh, but I am going to lead Vaporeon. Because he actually chooses to lead with the Skarmory. So very surprising. Uh, I'm going to throw off a Scald right here. Because I wouldn't mind getting a burn on anything on my opponent's team. Especially the Dragonite or the Bisharp or the Weavile. My opponent decides to throw off rocks. Uh, as we get a nice 51% off right there. He does not have leftovers. Which screams cuss that berry to me. Uh, what I'm going to do is... I don't want to go into Magnazone. I'd rather save Magnazone for the Bisharp later. I am just going to throw off another Scald as he gets up spikes. That's fine. Uh, I do believe we have Hazard removal on this team. I have to check. Uh, Latias might have it. I think it's Reflect type, Dragon Pulse, Roost, and Defog, if I'm not mistaken. My opponent chooses to go into Manectric right here. Um, we do not actually. We have um, Psy Shock on that thing. So, no Hazard removal, which is going to play a very big part in this game. I am just going to throw off a Wish right here as my opponent decides to go for the Volt Switch. So very nice for us. We are going to get off a Wish. We're going to get our Leftovers Recovery as well. He could be expecting a Scald, not wanting to go into one of his physical Pokemon. And um, right here, I don't have a Switch into Gengar at all, so I do have to just Protect. I cannot switch into a Shadow Ball for the life of me, even with a Wish up. So, uh, And there's also the risk of him going for Sludge Wave, so I couldn't go into uh, into Azumarill or anything like that either. Focus Blast was a threat for uh, Magnezone. But I am just going to throw out another Wish right here. As my opponent chooses to go for Will-O-Wisp. Very interesting. We did have the Heal Bell in case that hit, but it didn't, luckily for us. I'm just going to throw off a Scald right now. He's going to have to try to weaken us somehow. And if we can get off this Scald, that would be very nice. Opponent chooses to switch into Dragonite directly, which is a very risky play, as I could burn him, which I do. And he's not Lum, which screams banned. Um, I'm just going to go for the Wish once again. And uh, Vaporeon's just pretty much putting in all the work right now. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Scald right here. Expecting my opponent to Thunderbolt me, as he does. That's going to do a nice 66%. We do get paralyzed, but we do get the Scald off, which is very nice. We weaken the Manectric for Azumarill's Aqua Jet later. And the Dragonite is burned as well, so that's very, very nice. Um, just going to go for Protect right here. We do break through Para, which is really nice as well. And uh, now I'm pretty free to just go into Latias. He could predict that, though, which I'm not really feeling too safe about. And uh, does, do I need Vaporeon for anything else? I guess the Weavile a little bit, but being Para just uh, it hinders us so much. I can get off a Heal Belt later, actually. So yeah, I am just going to go into Latias right here. I'll be able to soak up this Thunderbolt. As my opponent chooses to actually go for the Volt Switch, so very nice play. We do Speed Tie with the Gengar, so uh, he chooses to go into Weavile, though. All right. And um, do I just want to go for the Mega Evolution and Recover? I think that might be my play, predicting either a knockoff or a Pursuit. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. And my opponent chooses to go for the knockoff, and it still knocks us out. Okay, well, I didn't know it could knock us out from that range. That's very interesting. Good to know. Uh, I'm just going to go into our Azumarill right now. And throwing off a play rough is completely safe right now. The Gengar is at full, but that's fine. Aqua Jet will be able to pick it off later if I do get this play rough off. I don't know if he's going to want to necessarily lose his, his Weavile, but he does. Uh, we lose our choice band, not a big deal, as long as we land this play rough, which we do. And Weavile is gone, which is yet another big threat. I do want to keep Azumarill around because I believe it lives um, two rounds. Maybe not two. No, it doesn't live two rounds. It lives one more round of, um, of Spike plus... 
uh, plus Stealth Rock. So I'm predicting my opponent to go for a Volt Switch right here. I'm going to go directly into Landorus. This could be a risky play, but I don't think he would HP Ice in front of a an Azumarill. Uh, he's just going to go for the Thunderbolt, and uh, he's going to see no items, so he could predict us to be Choice Scarf, which is what I'm hoping. And... I'm going to play off that and go for the U-turn, as he just stays in and goes for the HPI, so I guess good play. Uh, I can freely go into my Celebi right now and basically just uh, go for the Recover. We're Calm Mind, uh, Baton Pass, which is really good for Latias, but for the rest of the team it's not that great. Um, it could be good for Vaporeon later, actually. I am going to get off this Recover right here, and um, his Gengar or Dragonite is going to come out, actually. That's, uh, that's cool. I'm going to get off a couple of Calm Minds right here, as Dragonite is not going to be able to touch us. Uh, while being burned and Outrage is going to do 30% that's absolutely nothing I can actually just go for another Calm Mind right here wait until he gets confused and then recover off all the damage so a crit would be unfortunate uh, but we'll deal with it as it comes and uh, we are going to get off another Calm, right, uh, calm Mind right here uh, he does not get confused on that turn and a crit could potentially take me out but I am just going to recover he does not get the crit luckily and uh, we're going to recover back all this damage if he hits himself in confusion right here that would be awesome uh, we have two Calm Minds up, which means we deal with uh, Gengar really well, as all he can do really is burn us. And I have a Choice Scarf Magnazone in the back, which can fire off Flash Cannons now, and nothing on his team is going to appreciate that. In fact, I could maybe even lock myself into HP Fire, uh, but we will see. Let's see, what do I want to do to this thing? I kind of just want to go for another Calm Mind. I mean, I can, I can soak up his Shadow Ball right here. Um, and I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. He goes for the Sludge Wave, we can eat that up as well. After another Calm Mind, we should be able to take one more. And, um, yeah, I'm just gonna recover off all the damage. Uh, that did 54%, uh, so no crit means that he does not get the KO on us. And we are back up to 67. I will continue to recover, and now with 590 special attack, this is a very threatening Pokémon. And in fact, um, once this Gengar goes down, if I Baton Pass into my Magnezone, the, uh, the Manectric can't take me out with a Flamethrower anymore because we have plus three Spadef. So this is looking like a win as long as he does not crit us at any given moment. We should be good to go. I'm thinking about just passing right now into our Magnezone. Um, alternatively, I could go for one more Calm Mind to ensure that HP Fire takes out the remainder of his team. Uh, plus, uh, plus four should be able to take out Dragonite, no problem. Manectric will drop, and Bisharp can Sucker Punch us. That's the only thing I'm really worried about, is Bisharp's Sucker Punch. So, hmm, should I risk this? Uh, I'm gonna go for one more Recover. Let him Sludge Wave me, do 44%. He does not get the poison, which is nice. And we are back up to near full. I could potentially call mine here again, or I can pass right now. It's up to me. Uh, I can also go for a Giga Drain, which after the Life Orb, I think will be able to knock out my opponent's uh, Gengar. However, I do not want to be in with this thing against Bisharp. So I am going to Baton Pass here. He's going to go for the Sludge Wave. Going to take one more round, and we are going to Baton Pass this straight away. I could also bring this into Vaporeon, which would not be bad at all. Be able to get the heal bell off, he'll no longer have us paralyzed. And we saw how much what Thunderbolt was doing before, so now it's going to be not doing that much. Yeah, so I think Vaporeon is my play, actually. I know I'm wasting these boosts on something that's normally considered to be defensive, but look at that, 640 special attack. There's no way Bisharp's taking that well. Uh, 600 spit F means that we can eat up hits from the Manectric. I am just going to go for a Wish right here in case. He goes into Dragonite, and now we're going to heal bell. We're going to get all this damage taken off, and Vaporeon's pretty defensive, so a burn Dragonite isn't going to do much, uh, to be honest, and we'll be able to protect off the next hit, and he'll die to burn, so we'll be a full... Oh, okay, never mind, we didn't get the heal bell off, so... Uh, kind of just still want to get it off, though, that's the thing. Uh, how much defense do we have? 239, that's pretty good, 452 HP. How much did that Outrage do? 35? Should I risk that? Don't really want to. Um... I am just going to protect though, I think that's the best play. As he goes for another Outrage, he is going to die to burn right there, and if he does not get a crit on Vaporeon ever, we should be good to go. So or Paras for that matter. So it all comes down to chance at this point. I think Azumarill lives a Sucker Punch from a um, plus zero Bisharp, so I have to go for Scald on this thing, I cannot risk this thing setting up on me for free. 
and we do get the Scald off. That is going to do 100% damage, and it's looking like Vaporeon is going to be the first Pokemon to sweep our first game, so it's looking very good. Uh, I am just going to go for the Wish right here, see how much his Thunderbolt does. That's 28%, guys. That does absolutely nothing. Uh, I'm going to Protect on this turn. Hopefully we break through. We do. His Thunderbolt is going to be nullified, and we will Wish on this turn, and we just have to pray for no Paras. If he doesn't get any, then we win. Um, uh, no Paras and no Crits as well. So I am going to get the, uh, the uh, Wish off right there. I'm going to go for a Heal Bell right now to get rid of my Paralysis as he chooses to switch into Gengar, which is fine. We will just go for the Scald right here, and if he does not crit us on either one of the next two hits, we are good to go. He does not get a Spadef drop either on the Shadow Ball, Gengar is down, and Manectric should drop as well. And even if it doesn't, I mean, I still have a zoom roll in the back to Aqua Jet it, so that's pretty much game. It still had its choice band as well, I believe. No, he got knocked off, so either way, that was a very good game. Uh, we wish passed to the correct Pokemon, luckily. We were able to sweep up that game with Vaporeon, so very nice from Eric. Great uh, great sense of awareness that Vaporeon can actually put in a lot of work with those boosts from Celebi as well. Um, looking like Lanaris has a lot of fun against my opponent's team, uh, between knocking off both the, um, the Chansey and the... Um, the Thunderous's item potentially an Earthquaking, Chansey, Sylveon, Nido King. It's looking pretty good for that. Uh, Thunderous is looking like a bit of a threat, but let's see, what can we do here? Um, I'm looking at, I'm looking at leading with our Landorus. Yeah, that looks like the best lead to me. He does lead with, uh, Sylveon, which kind of scares me <laughs> because, uh, choice specs would hurt. So let me actually just go for the U-turn. We should be faster than this thing if it's not max speed. There we go. And now I want to calc that damage. That did 12%. That was actually quite a lot. Landorus defensive. Uh, Landorus T. Why is only the custom set here? I don't know. Um, but this has no attack. Okay, that's fine. Uh, U-turn to a Sylveon. That is choice specs. Should do... Yeah, 12.5 to 14.8. Actually, we only did 12. So he's potentially not choice specs. So that's pretty good. That's good to know. Um, I'm going to go into Magnezone here. It's my safest play overall. Covers all bases. Hyper Voice is going to do 56%. Okay, so that is Specs. <laughs> there is no way that's not Specs. Magnezone never takes that much. Uh, Choice Scarf. Yeah, Hyper Voice does 54 to 64, so that's definitely Specs. Now, we do have HP Ice on this, which is really funny. I don't anticipate him going into Nido King straight off the bat. I anticipate the Ferrothorn to come out. Yep, exactly. And uh, now we can go back into Landorus right here, and I'm just going to get up my rocks because these are actually pretty crucial this game for the Thunderous. I need to weaken that thing if I want to beat it. And uh, Latias is actually lo looking pretty good too, this game, between Reflect type. I just got to get rid of the Chansey, really. Uh, as Chansey actually chooses to come in here uh, as I go for Stealth Rock, and I'm going to knock off its Eviolite. I don't even care if, if it toxics me or what, but uh, we're getting rid of that thing right now. And uh, Earthquake is the freest move right here, does 47% as my opponent's going to go for a Seismic Toss and take the Rocky Helmet damage. And now I'm actually just going to throw off another knockoff because it will knock out the Chansey and it also covers the switch into Thunderous. So, should my opponent bring out Blastoise right here, I will just Earthquake this thing. I do not want him spinning for free and I do not have a Spin Blocker on this team. So that's exactly what I'm going to go for. Uh, defensive Latias is looking like it can sweep up the game at this point. Just need a little bit of damage on this thing. He goes for a Dark Pulse. It's going to do quite a bit. Guess predicting the switch into the Latias directly. Uh, another one will be able to take us out, so he has no reason not to go for it. I will just Quake again and do 31%. He goes for Scald. And now I need to prevent this thing from getting up, uh, from getting rid of my rocks because they are super, super important for the Thunderous. And uh, I'm going to do that with Celebi. Celebi is pretty safe. I can set up all over the Ferrothorn, and I can just go for a Giga Drain right here. If he switches out, he comes back in at 18%, basically putting him in kill range of anything on my roster, barring maybe Vaporeon. Definitely Vaporeon, but uh, we'll gain... I will be back up to full at the end of this turn, no matter what. Um, even Ferrothorn will give me the health that I need, so he lets that go down. And I'm um, curious to see what he's going to go into now. Probably the Needle King. The Needle King is definitely the best play here, uh, as it outspeeds me and it can pretty much nuke me with a Sludge Wave. I think it might actually even knock me out. Uh, Needle King, UU Wall Breaker. Uh, that's Life Orb Naive, Sheer Force versus Celebi. I want to see its Sludge Wave damage. OU Baton Pass. Uh, Sludge Wave does indeed kill, but he chooses to bring in Sylveon instead, which is an interesting play. Um, I'm actually going to. Calm Mind, I think, here. 
How much does this thing do to me? Sylveon, choice specs. Probably a lot less, right? Hyper Voice does 69 to 81. And then if I'm at plus one Spadef, it's doing 46 to 54. So I can't out pay, I can't, I can't out recover it necessarily. Maybe with a Giga Drain afterwards. Well, potentially, hold on. I have to think about this. Um, this thing is 240 spit F, this thing is 236, so they're about equal. I am just gonna go for a Calm Mind right here, and we'll see how much this Hyper Voice does. Uh, it does 53% actually, so I can, um, I was faster, so, okay, so yeah, that's the roll, that's definitely the roll. He would need an extremely high roll right here to take me out, but I'm not gonna play around with that, I'm gonna wait until he gets a lower roll with the first Hyper Voice, and then I will Calm Mind again. Hyper Voice comes through, does 47% this time, and this is the range I need to be at. Now I can Calm Mind again, and I just have to play off of no crits. And afterwards, it doesn't really matter because Azumarill can come in, so... Uh, my opponent actually chooses to go into Nidoking. Well, I can take your Sludge Wave now, unless your choice specs, right? Nidoking, uh, UU Wall Breaker. Let me see a plus 2 Giga Drain as well. It's doing 75 to 89 to this thing, and with plus 2 Spadef... I should be able to live the Sludge Wave with no issues. Um, alternatively, I could Baton Pass this into Vaporeon again. <laughs> that would be crazy. We could do that. Um, I don't have enough speed to outspeed Sylveon, I don't think, though. Not if he's running a little bit of speed in it. I am just going to go for the Giga Drain. My opponent's going to go for the Sucker Punch, actually, which is not going to take us out at all. And I can go for the Giga Drain right here, get up to 57%, and... Sludge Wave does have the potential to take us out, but I revenge kill this thing with pretty much anything on my roster. And I can just go for Recover right here. He goes for the Poison Jab, that is going to take us out, and it doesn't get hit by the Life Orb uh, because of the fact that it's Sheer Force boosted. But now, uh, now it's looking like Magnazone's game, actually. Magnazone pretty much takes this, and with only Rocks up and no Spikes, this becomes a lot easier. Uh, the Nido King potentially cannot switch back into the Stealth Rocks. So what I will do here is go into Latias, basically just get a kill um, on anything that wants to come in. I'm just going to Psy Shock here, I'm going to Mega Evolve, and it's going to do a lot to the Sylveon as well. He's going to Sucker Punch, which is going to do a lot to us. Uh, I could have Reflect Type there, but it's not a big deal. My opponent can easily go into Thunderous and Revenge Kill us now, but I do have the Magnazone in the back. So uh, let's see, what do I want to do here? I want to prevent this thing from setting up on me for free, so I will just go for the... What's my strongest move to hit this thing with? Dragon Pulse, I guess. HP Ice does come through. We'll see if he's Life Orb. He is not, which means he has Leftovers, which is kind of scary. Uh, I can now go into Magnazone and just Volt Switch out, though. And uh, Vaporeon comes in if he chooses to go into the Ferrothorn. I could also HP... I don't have HP Fire on this thing. I just thought about it. Oh, man, this game just got a lot harder. Alright, well, uh, I'm going to Volt Switch right there, and we're going to go into Vaporeon, basically sacking it off uh, to the Thunderbolt, which is what I'm expecting to come through. He actually chooses to go for Focus Blast, okay. Um, if that wasn't the most obvious Scarf Magnazone in the world, I don't know what was, but I'm just going to Scald here on his Thunderbolt. It's obviously going to be able to take us out right there, and um, now I'm just going to go into Magnazone and throw off another Volt Switch. I mean, it, sh it will KO him. It did 52% last time. Chooses to go into Ferrothorn. I can still conserve this. I do have the superpower on Azumarill. The question is, do I go for it here? If I click superpower and he stays in, we win with Flash Cannon. If he switches out into Sylveon, we are in a terrible position. So I have to make a call right now on what move to click. Um, and I think superpower is the play. All right, we got rid of Firethorn, and that should be the game. I mean, Flash Cannon will be able to clean this up. Um, Thunderous comes in at, what, 17? It does resist the Flash Cannon, but I don't think Thunderous can take it. Uh, Thunderous, uh, OU Thunder Wave plus three attacks versus Magnazone, Choice Scarfed, Max Special Attack, basically. Uh, Flash Cannon does 26 to 31, so even after the Leftovers recovery, he is not killing us. And if he chooses to do anything like Focus Blast to get a little more le Leftovers recovery, the, um, the uh, Superpower was going to be able to take him out there, even at minus one. It is strong enough to do that, so I am just going to go for the Flash Cannon. Now the problem is, Sylveon has very good Spadef, but non-defensive, I don't think takes this. We'll see right now, but uh, Flash Cannon does... Ooh, that's... Still okay. Wait, 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 wait. That's with max HP. That's if he's max HP. He can take this. Um, I need a super high roll to be able to knock him out. So 
Uh, and we get it, all right. <laughs> so either he wasn't max HP or we just got a really, really lucky roll. Uh, we are at 1646, wow, I got really low. I decayed a lot. I haven't been playing OU as much. Um, and that's gonna be two wins for us right there. Let's see if we can get a third. We're at 20 minutes. I'm gonna try to keep it to, uh, to 30 at most. Uh, this is a very uh, slow paced team. You really have to uh, drag on games a little bit, but not that we have like spike stacking or anything, uh, but still. Rotom, Rotom Wash is the utmost, m like most obvious lead on my opponent's part. Uh, I am just gonna lead with Latias as Heatran actually chooses to lead off. Okay, so not the best scenario for us. Um, I'm tempted just to switch into my Vaporeon or my Landorus. I am gonna switch into Landorus directly, threaten this thing out with the Earthquake. Uh, as my opponent goes for a Toxic, okay, we are going to get up rocks right here. My opponent has no hazard removal whatsoever other than the Excadrill, which does not match up again, well against the majority of my team. Uh, and we are going to get the Stealth Rocks off here on the Rotom Switch. Um, I might lose my... Actually, there's no point. I can just go into Celebi here. I lose nothing by going into Celebi. I mean, it gives him a free switch into his uh, Heracross, but that's about it. And we can outspeed that thing with Magnazone. He's gonna want to go for a pin missile. There's no doubt about it in my mind. And uh, he does bring in the Heatran, actually. Uh, kind of surprising, to say the least. Uh, I'm going to Calm Mind right here, because if he's de a defensive variant, he will not outspeed us. And we're gonna get up a couple of Calm Minds here. And I think with a few of those up, I can beat his entire team with Latias, and we get to show off Reflect-type Latias right here. So I think I'm going to Baton Pass right away into Latias, as my opponent goes for a Taunt, and uh, he does have Toxic though, that's the problem. That is the issue, right here. Uh, I probably should have gone for Calm Mind again, but I mean he would have taunted us anyway, so it didn't make a difference. Uh, I'm just going to go for Psyshock right here, as my opponent more than likely is going to Toxic us. Uh, as he goes for the Toxic, there we go. Uh, so Latias is not going to be putting him in as much work as I would have liked. Just gonna go for the Dragon Pulse here, predicting the Slowbro to want to come in, or something of that sort, as he does stay in, and he's going to go for a Lava Plume to weaken us. The Taunt does wear off, and... The thing about Reflect-type is that you lose your typing, and your moves are no longer Stab. I really want to keep this thing for the Heracross. I'm worried about it. I can't switch anything in comfortably on a Lava Plume except for Vaporeon though, so let's do that. Let's switch into Vaporeon. Luckily we have the Heal Bell, which is really nice. Uh, so even if he burns us here, we'll be able to Heal Bell that and our Landorus and our Latias. Uh, which is actually probably what I'm going to do right now. That or throw off a Scald. Yeah, I'm going to throw off a Scald. As my opponent chooses to go for a Taunt, which is a good play, because uh, I considered going for the Heal Bell. If we get rid of this Heatran though, the Latias becomes a much bigger threat to his team. Uh, I am just going to Scald right here. Uh, he has leftovers, so I'm going directly into Landorus and then pivoting out into uh, into Celebi. As he goes for the Volt Switch, very nice. We are going to U-turn into our Celebi and basically uh, force this thing. I don't think he would Volt Switch again, honestly. Uh, not this time, I don't think. We'll see though, because I could get off a free knockoff right here. So I'm going to U-turn out into Celebi as my opponent decides to go for the Volt Switch again. Okay, so he's he's playing well. He's definitely playing well around my uh, around my Volt turn. Uh, he finally chooses to bring in Heracross here. Now, Magnezone is very dangerous because I could lose it right now, and it puts in a lot of work because it Thunderbolts the Rotom, the Slowbro, and the Heatran at this point, and it knocks them all out. Alternatively, he still has a, an Excadrill, though. That's the only thing. He still has that drill. So, knowing that, could also go into my physically defensive wall in either Landorus or Vaporeon. Landorus is weak though. I'm gonna go into Magnezone because I can't risk it. I can't risk. Um, he actually misses Megahorn. Wait, is this not his Mega? Ooh, so it's a Mega Zam. Interesting. I'm assuming he's like Choice Scarfed, right? Knowing that then, I'm gonna switch into Vaporeon, predicting the Excadrill, which was the point. And now I'm gonna go for the heal bell. As my opponent goes for the rapid spin, that's fine. My status is healed on my entire team. I can throw off a wish right now as he goes for toxic. That's okay with me. And I can switch into either Landorus or stay in here and scald him. And I think I'm going to switch into Landorus is my best play. As my opponent goes into Rotom, that's fine. We now have a full health Landorus on deck. 
back up to 100%, very nice. Last time my opponent decided to Volt Switch. I'm gonna knock off this time and get rid of this thing's item. He's Volt Switched every time. Finally chooses to go for the Will-O-Wisp, which is okay, because... I'm gonna get up rocks, predicting him to pain split. As he actually chooses to go for the Hydro Pump, okay. I'm gonna U-turn this time. He missed the Hydro Pump, very unfortunate for him. It would have KO'd us, but I wouldn't have been too bothered by it, because his Heatran's already low, and his Excadrill we have other answers for, so... Um, at this point, I'm pretty free to just Giga Drain whatever, but that might not be the play. Because he's definitely not staying in with Rotom, there's no way. So, I may just Calm Mind again. Start Calm Minding one more time. Uh, or I can Baton Pass here. Or Recover. So many options. Eric, you left me with so many options on this team. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Recover as he chooses to go out into Heracross. And I actually do not predict him to go for the Mega Horn right here. So I'm going to Calm Mind as he goes for the knockoff. Nice. Okay, so if he's choiced, if he's choice locked into the knockoff, then he has to switch out here. And I'm going to go for the B Baton Pass right now. Uh, and he should be choice locked uh, as he goes into Heatran. Very nice. Okay, so we Baton Pass this Spadef. And special attack into Magnezone? Vaporeon again? Vaporeon's not bad. Um, I like... I like Azumarill right here as well. I think this is just, again, there's so many options. Um, I'm gonna put on Pass it into Latias and I need to check how much the... Um, ooh, wait a minute, he can't Toxic me if I Reflect type him. Yes, okay. Uh, that's what we're gonna do, but I just want to see how much Psyshock was doing at plus one. It was doing 25%, so I am going to Reflect type right here, and I'm gonna gain his Fire and Steel type on the Toxic, and I'm going to Recover now. And now I'm basically just like a super hard wall to break for him, um, other than Excadrill. Everything else has a hard time against me being a Fire and Steel type. So, we'll see. He's probably carrying Focus Blast on the Mega Alakazam, let's be honest. Um, this is a very wally team, man. <laughs> this is like this team walls so much. Um, again, I can reflect type him here, but he's just gonna go for the earthquake anyway. And he is mold breaker, right? Yeah, he is. Okay. All right, so we're going directly into Landorus here, lowering this thing's attack. I got up my health back on um, on Latias, which is really good. The Rotom is sitting at sixty-eight percent, so. I'm going to U-turn here, as my opponent actually goes for Iron Head and takes the Rocky Helmet damage, which is nice. He's going to get the flinch, and another Iron Head might be able to take us out. He's actually a Leftovers variant. Um, I don't know if he's going to want to take more damage, though, so he is going to switch into Rotom, which is good. We have no way of getting rid of these rocks, but at this point, um, this thing has Will-O-Wisp. Um, let's see. So plus one did 25, right? So plus zero should be doing 18. Which means I won't be able to take him out with two. I'm just, uh, I'm weighing all my options, guys. And, uh, I think my best option is Latias, though. Nonetheless. I think just going for the Psy Shock right here. Getting off some damage. If he chooses to Pain Split, that's fine. I mean, we don't have the most HP. We're actually not super invested in HP. We have a lot more Special Attack than anything else. As he's going to Pain Split. He's gonna get back up to 57%. And I will continue to Psy Shock. Uh, to avoid the Heatran coming in for free. He does go for the Will-O-Wisp, and I am going to Psy Shock again. Again, I do not want that Heatran coming in for free. Absolutely not. I want to get as much damage off on it as possible. I want to break his walls down, and I can heal my walls. So, uh, this Excadrill is very defensive. I can pretty much just recover stall it. Um, and it takes a lot from... Uh, we take a lot from Earthquake too, though. Ooh, that's not good. Um, let's see... We take, yeah, we take a, enough to, to always be taking more than what Recover gives us back, so I think I have to switch into Landorus right here. This is going to be a very long game, guys, so uh, thank you for watching if you don't want to watch anymore, but this is going to be a very, very long, draggy game, so um, my opponent's probably just going to go for Earthquake again. We're going to lower his attack as he does. There we go, and now, now I think I'm going Azumarill to be honest, uh, and I think I'm just throwing off a play rough and knocking something out, other than Heatran, of course, but I think that's my best play. And um, he might think that we are Belly Drum, and he might not want to, because his, his Rotom is very weakened right now. I could sweep his entire team if I was Belly Drum, so he's probably not going to switch out here. 
as he actually does. If I was belly jump, this game was over. That was very, very risky on his on his part. Uh, but I can go into Vaporeon very safely here. Uh, not much he can do to Vaporeon, and I'll be able to heal back my entire team with Heal Bell. And that's going to be the point. Uh, unfortunately, I did let Arlandarus go down, but I didn't have a choice there. His Excadrill is way too much of a threat to the rest of the team. I couldn't switch in Celebi on a potential Iron Head. Uh, he's actually going to switch into Alakazam right here. Uh, very interesting. I'm going to wish up. See that he is Mega Alakazam, of course. He's going to gain the Water Absorb, which is very nice. He's going to taunt us, so he's also a taunt Alakazam. And now I basically have to... Well, I can't Scald him here. Ah, oh, man, this is a very precarious situation. This is bad. Alright, well, we're switching into Onion. We're switching into Onion. We don't have a choice. We're going to stack it off to the Shadow Ball. That's okay. I can pretty freely just go into uh, Zoomerill right here. And he knows that I'm going to be throwing off a player up, right? He should. Because I can't throw off a uh, water move right now. I'm just going to go for the player up. It's fine. Um, it doesn't change anything in the dynamic of the game. He goes into slow, bro. This is going to do a lot. It does 54%, so he should know that we're banded at this point. He's going to go into his Heatran. He's going to eat that up. He's completely because he's not even going to take damage. I'm just going to go into Latias right now. Sack it. And then we are going to get rid of this heat trend. Okay, well, he's just going to taunt us. Um, I'm going to throw out a pulse right here. Not that it does more to heat trend, but I just wanted to sack this off while getting off the most damage on any other member on his team because I wanted to take this thing out and leave the rest to Azumarill and Vaporeon and Magnezone. Magnezone can still put in a ton of work. I'm trapped. I've trapped this Heatran, I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt, uh, potentially will not take him out, but Azumarill can come and clean him up after, uh, he's just going to go for the Plume, that is going to knock us out, and I'm going to go straight into Azumarill, and actually I think I'm going to make a ballsy play, I mean at this point the game is lost, so I'm just going to play rough right here on his Slowbro switch, and uh, I don't think his Heatran can come back in on this, so we should be able to knock it out right here, potentially putting the rest of his team in range of... Aqua Jet, actually. This is looking pretty good for Aqua Jet. <sighs> it's gonna be hard. Um, Excadrill does choose to come out here. It can do a lot to me. It can do a lot to me with an Iron Head. Yeah, I'm just going into Vaporeon. There's no point. There's no point in staying in. Um, he goes for the Earthquake, so that's going to be able to do a lot of damage to us. Um, 31% to be exact. If that was a very, very high roll, then I have a chance of just straight up knocking him out with a Scald right here. Uh, it was not a roll. It's a, uh, it's a perfectly legitimate, uh, amount of damage. But now, can Rotom take a Banded Aqua Jet? That is the question. Rotom. Rotom Wash. Let's see. Rotom Wash blank set, but we need fully defensive. 248. Oh, okay, we'll do 252. Uh, and 252 defense bold versus Azumarill. I'm pretty sure it can. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, it eats that up. <laughs> right. Well, we're going to go for it anyway. We're going to pick up a kill on something. Um, probably this X control right here. It might not even knock him out if he's fully defensive, honestly. Um, because I know it knocks him out from full if he's a Sandrush variant with um, with no HP investment, but this Excadrill has leftover, so I'm assuming it's defensive. I'm just going to leave a GG in the chat right away. This is was, this game was way longer than I expected it to be, but um, bulky teams like this as well. Uh, the team has a little bit of trouble against. Uh, it's pretty much the perfect core of Pokemon. You have the uh, Slowbro, um, Rotom, and Heatran core. We do knock out the Excadrill, which is nice. Uh, the Slowbro, Heatran, and... Um, and Rotom Core, Rotom Wash, with, top that off with a uh, defensive Excadrill and it's just so hard to break down because your answers to Heatran and Excadrill are, um, are Landorus and your Water types and uh, those, they can't win. Uh, he actually chooses to go for a knockoff. Ooh, well this is interesting. I hope he switches into Rotom right here because I will 2-hit KO it. I will, I will knock it out with 2 hits. Actually, he's locked in. What reason do I have to not go for Waterfall right now? Absolutely none. I'm gonna get an extra kill. You know what? We're getting extra credit, uh, extra credit on this last battle, guys. We're gonna be able to knock another Pokemon out because he chose to go for knockoff. I, get it. I guess it was his most powerful move to hit us with. Uh, potentially Stone Edge, but I guess he didn't want to risk a miss uh, because I could still win this game, actually, with a crit Aqua Jet on both Alakazam and on the... Um, 
and on the Rotom, if I was still banded, I could win this game. So, he played it right. He knocked off my item. I think it was his best play. And uh, obviously, if he didn't knock it off, then I would have still needed a crit Aqua Gen on his Heracross later in the game. But I think his best play was probably into Rotom. Uh, he would have been able to soak up the hit, and then if that didn't work out, then he could go into Heracross and knock off my band, and then not even a choice banded uh, Aqua Jet crit would be able to, uh, not even a non-choice banded Aqua Jet crit would be able to knock out the uh, Alakazam, so uh, I'm gonna need the mother of all crits right here, let's see, without a choice band. I'm doing 8 to 10, so I would, uh, nope, that doesn't even do it. That doesn't even do it for me, let's laugh at this damage, that did 11. Uh, so that was actually a max roll on him. Um, it didn't actually do 11, it did 10.8, but that's gonna be game. Um, gonna say GG to my opponent, it was a very nice game. And um, unfortunately the team does str struggle against these dual water, dual steel uh, cores like this. You don't see a lot of them, but uh, Rotom Wash plus Slowbro can be very annoying to Azumarill and to uh, Vaporeon. Not to mention that his Mega Alakazam can come in and trace my Vaporeon's Water Absorb and wall it out completely every time. Plus he's running Taunt on two Pokemon. Uh, it makes it extremely difficult, but it was a very good game. Uh, kudos to my opponent for winning that one. Uh, he played it solidly, and uh, that just happens sometimes. You uh, you can't avoid losses. They happen to everybody, to even the best. So uh, that's it, guys. If you enjoyed, uh, hit like down below as usual. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my Facebook and my Twitter in the description. Leave a comment uh, if you want to see any interesting teams. Leave me a team in the comment section. I've never asked for that, but leave me a team down below, and I'll try to use it, and uh, I'll, I'll fix it up if I have to to fit my style, but... Uh, definitely leave me a full team if, uh, if you have any. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you again so much for watching. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Ciao.